Hello, this is Diana Chenevere. I'm a board crown prince, but I want to give you a little trivia about the Southern Stars poster. I mentioned earlier that I'd had it created to promote the entertainers I represented. These were the first musicians I worked with, and I wanted to have something unique and to be a page of Louisiana music history, and I called it the Southern Stars poster. My booking agency was Omni Attractions, and I usually don't carry this around <laughs> because I, the other one's framed, and the one in the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame um, is also framed in, in their museum. But uh, this one I brought with me because, as I'm writing the book, A Search for Truth, um, it has a little sentimental value, to since Hurricane Katrina and Rita um, that we all kind of went through in Louisiana, I... Um, Some of my musicians are deceased now, and several of them are still alive, but after the hurricane, um, some of the musicians like Fats Domino and Aaron Neville called me and said, look, you know, we don't have anything left after the hurricanes, um, that this poster is one of the few things left with pictures of them when they were children. And they're all keyed down at the bottom to tell you who everyone is, and... Um, this one, uh, when I took Fats, uh, a few of the posters, <laughs> the wild thing is, is he, um, my son James Gonslin and I went and, and Fats signed some for me. <laughs> he gave them back. I was like going, why are you doing that? And he says, don't worry, just take, you know, it's okay, you know. So he took some and gave me a few back with his name on it. So I, um, it, it means a lot to me. He's... I have another one that's signed by all of them, but um, I don't know, it's just, I'm a sentimental fool, I guess, and that's part of the reason I even made this poster. Um, there are artists that are, um, some of the trivia I was going to tell you about uh, is, like, say for instance, this picture in the center, I got all of the pictures from the musicians that are from their childhood and had whoever was in town come and um, pose in front of my booking agency. Now the photographer was Michael P. Smith who has tons of photographs in um, museums all over the place because he documented so much Louisiana, uh, New Orleans music history. But he took this picture and um, this building was where my booking agency was. It was on the corner of Chapatulas and um, Valence. And it used to be a nightclub called Rosie's. And um, the, if you've seen the movie The Big Easy with Dennis Quaid, and you see him pulling up in front of this building, and all they did was cover this awning up with the words Tipitinas, which is a nightclub on Chapatulas and Napoleon right down the street that was closed at the time um, they filmed the Big Easy there I rented it out to them and or organized stuff and um, we put the extras in the green room across the street at my friend Susie's um, warehouse loft apartment so um, anyway that's one thing that's interesting and then as you can see there's Aaron Neville and Art Neville and their brother Charles is back here and I don't know if you remember the Ed Sullivan show most of you are probably way too young but groups like the Beatles and Doug Kershaw who's a famous Louisiana fiddle player was on his show years ago and um, he's a well-known Louisiana the Raging Cajun the you know um, just a great fiddle player and but also even like uh, Bruce Daggerpont who also carries um, forth the Cajun tradition is on here um, I'm standing over here by the rolls and this is um, Frankie Ford who is known in Europe and um, most of I think every one of these uh, musicians are probably as well known in Europe as they are in uh, Louisiana and other states they've traveled to. Um, 
this is um, Aaron Neville when he was a teenager, and Irma Thomas, and Oliver Morgan's gone now, and um, let's see, Art Neville, uh, Dave Bartholomew uh, was um, the band leader that kind of helped Fats Domino get his start, and uh, he and Fats wrote uh, most of the songs together, so they're co-authors on um, their music, and um, oh, when I booked the Rolling Stones private party, um, they had Clarence Frogman Henry come and perform too. And this is Luther Kent. He used to be one of the singers, uh, former singer for Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and so was um, um, Tony Clackham. I was trying to think, oh, when I first had the poster commissioned and made and it had just been printed, USA Today came into town. So the, um, I'm trying to think, Al Newharth is, uh, it was from, um, Gannett and um, they had USA Today had just come to New Orleans for the first time and so Fats signed a poster for him and um, Bill Graham who was uh, the Rolling Stones manager at the time uh, when they did the private party aboard the SS president was given a Southern Stars poster um, I'm trying to think who you might know. <laughs> oh, it went into uh, the Hard Rock Cafe. It has a copy. And um, anyway, that's a few things that are trivia about this poster. Um, the picture of me down here on the phone making connections as a two-year-old um, is one that I used to have as my Instagram and my Twitter profile picture. I kind of tested it out to see, I thought it was kind of a cool picture, but um, I don't know, I didn't have very many followers. I'm used to being behind the scenes. Even if you look at my Instagram, since I've had it, I have hundreds of pictures and I think I have just a little over 30 of myself. I don't put many pictures of myself on there, but uh, anyway, um, I just, this was a special time in my life. Um, I learned a lot, I made a lot of friends, worked on a few movies, and um, these musicians, each and every one of them, and I, you know, it'd take me a while to go through all 40 of them, but these were the first 40 that I worked with, and I don't want to leave anybody out, and they were all unique, and uh, I think it's funny that, unfortunately, Vance DeGeneres was standing kind of behind Gene Knight and Bobby Cure and he kind of got lost in the shuffle and um, I don't know if you know the Radiators, the band the Radiators well that's Dave's wife and um, she was in a group and and um, the Dixie Cups are, are here and Gene Knight, I don't know if you remember the song Mr. Big Stuff, Who Do You Think You Are? <laughs> anyway um, just sharing a little bit sentimental stuff and pictures I don't know some people will appreciate it some people could care less but uh, if you're on Instagram and you're um, or Pinterest or something these are things that people like and so it'll mean something to them or if you're in the music industry or if you're from Louisiana you can appreciate it maybe a little bit more um, so, I won't drag this out any further. I just wanted to give you a few trivial points about the Southern Stars poster. And 